Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share this design. It's kind of a French tip manicure but has some scallop detail in it. It looks harder than what it actually is. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with things that we are going to be needing. We're going to be needing white polish and I'm using my white on by Sally Hansen and I really love this one because it has a huge brush and it's really pigmented. And then we're going to be using this guy right here, it's my Sally Hansen No More Mistakes and it's supposed to be a pen and it's supposed to like clean, help you clean all the mess around your you know, nails and fingers. Once we start with the nail or with the design itself, I'm going to be telling you why we're going to be needing this one and it's going to be making sense once we start. And I'm going to be using a dotting tool. Now, I would suggest you to just invest in something that is really, really tiny and it's going to be give you the, the tiniest little dots. I do have a tutorial on this one, well a similar one if you want to check it out. It gives you the tiniest dots. You can use a toothpick as well, but it's not going to give you the, the tiniest dots that for instance, this one will. Just because the tiniest the dots, the more detailed your whole manicure is gonna look. And then we need a top coat. Now, the one that I use doesn't say the words top coat on it. As a matter of fact, the instructions, I believe, say that you can use this as a base coat. But I use my hardest nails hardener as a top coat because I just love the, the glow it adds at the end and how thick it is. But again, you can use whatever top coat that works for you. Okay, I chose this one because we need something that will absorb acetone or nail polish on it and will still hold its own shape. I couldn't think of anything else if you have something else in your house that will help for this project or this purpose, go ahead and use it. And when I saw it in the store, I thought of it for this purpose. Okay, so for this step, it's going to be really easy. Just apply some nail polish and be decent on the amount of nail polish because we're going to be making just one coat and it's just applying, you know, your nail polish on the, on the edge of your nail. It doesn't really have to be neat or perfect at this point because we're going to remove kind of a half of it anyways. Okay, for the next step, all I'm going to do is merge or just sink my pen on some... Um, some acetone or just nail polish remover whatever you you have and then I'm going to just start making those shapes as you can see right now and I'm pretty much doing C's or just M's or just circles half circles and then I'm going to uh, sink again my pen on my acetone and then go ahead and remove the part of the middle the reason I'm just sinking or immerging my pen on my acetone is because I found out that my pen was a bit too dry for me this is what I'm doing. I needed more acetone on my pen than what it has on it to begin with. So I just, you know, helped it a bit with adding more acetone. And then you just have to clean your, your pen because you're going to have a lot of, you know, nail polish in there as you remove the excess. And you can go ahead at the end and just remove, like, the messy parts on your around your nails and cuticles and all that stuff this this helps a lot but you just, you remember you just have to help the pen with more acetone on it and then all we're going to be doing is adding some tiny dots on each and every one of those kind of peaks one dot per peak and again try to choose the smallest dotting tools you can find Okay, this next step is optional, but I'm going to be going back to my pen and to my acetone and I'm just going to just use the pointiest part of my pen and I'm just going to again sink the whole thing, the whole pen in, on, onto the acetone and once it's like wet enough, I'm just going to go back to my nail and just put the pointiest part on the top of my nail and just wait for it for a couple of seconds for the acetone to just kind of soften up the nail polish and I'm just going to make some holes I guess in there and the bigger you want your hole or your dot to be the, the deeper you want to go with your hole and then just have to apply your top coat and that's pretty much it I applied two coats of my top coat so let me know what you think of it. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come and check out all the nail art that I already have on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time for another nail art design. Take care guys. Bye.